One of the things that you get when looking through, what, what I like about photographs, I can say, is that they are like a diary, this sort of random diary. So they're things that photographs I've taken. I don't take, sort of, I don't do a Cartier-Bresson, no way, nothing like that. I just take pictures of things that interest me. And I don't know why, but that's what I do. And there was a shop, um, it's since vanished, uh, I think it was called Dom or something. And it had all these design-like things. And it was this, I don't know, just designer stuff that you could just buy these designery things and put in your house. And these pigs here were painted and I suppose I was waiting at a counter and I saw them and took a picture of that. But seeing these pigs, it's not, I don't care for them one way or another. It's just that they do remind me of many things. And I remember one incident in that particular shop, there was this guy working there and he looked like the spitting image of Prince. And this was before Prince had died. And he really, really did look like Prince. And so he's there and his beard was, tr I mean, it was so, every millimeter of his face was perfectly, um, I was about to say manicured, but perfectly shaped and organized. So th there was no uh, wriggly lines where there, should, where there shouldn't have been wriggly lines and all that stuff. And his clothes, absolutely perfect, spot on and all that. And he was there and um, on the counter, he had this tiny little chihuahua. I mean, this chihuahua was really, 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 really small. And my partner, she asked him, she said, something about it, is that a chihuahua or whatever? And he seemed so insulted. Maybe it wasn't a chihuahua. Maybe it was, uh, uh, I don't know if there's a version of a mini chihuahua because this was super, super small. And just so you know, this was during that period when Paris Hilton had influenced an awful lot of people to go around with chihuahuas in their handbags. And so he's got this tiny chihuahua, and my partner asks, is that a chihuahua, is it a puppy, or is it this or that? Oh, I think she said, no, is it a puppy? And then he said, no, it's a chihuahua. And he, his, the daggers that shot out of his eyes, simply because we didn't understand that this delicate little dog <laughs> was, um, was a puppy. Uh, sorry, was a chihuahua. And yeah, um, on the dog front, because this makes me think of something else, sorry to ramble on, I remember being in the metro and there were two elderly uh, Dutch ladies and they had a little dog and it was also in a basket. And there were two ladies from Ghana and they looked at this dog and they just started laughing and laughing and laughing because the idea of carrying a dog around in a bag, even though that happens on this side of the world and it's completely normal, for other people, this can be very, very, very amusing. The idea that you're carrying, you are carrying a dog like a little baby. So yeah, anyway, the, these pigs here, um, thank you for the memory because that's what they do. They don't uh, enlighten me in any other way, but to um, remind me of that shop that once existed where you can get all kinds of designer stuff and where my partner once mistakenly asked if a tiny little chihuahua was a puppy.